Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 570 Piping Inspection Code in service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration of piping systems. In this lecture, we will continue discuss clauses 6, and we highlight important information contained items sub clauses 6.3 Piping Inspection Planning, 6.4 Extent of Visual External and CUI Inspections, 6.6 .6 Extent of Inspections on Small Bore Piping, and Threaded Connections and 6.7 Inspection and Maintenance of Pressure Relieving Devices, PRDs. Piping Inspection Planning Piping Service Classes General All process piping systems shall be categorized into different piping classes except for piping that has been planned on the basis of RBI. Classifications should be based on potential safety and environmental effects should a leak occur. When pipe service conditions change, Pipe classifications and inspection plans should be reviewed and updated as necessary to reflect the changed operating conditions. For example a hydrocarbon service temperature increase that might change from slowly vaporizing during a release to rapidly vaporizing during a release. Owner, users shall maintain a record of process piping fluids handled, including their classifications. Class 1 Services with the highest potential of resulting in an immediate emergency if a leak were to occur are in Class 1. Such an emergency may be safety or environmental in nature. Examples of Class 1 piping include, but are not necessarily limited to, those containing the following. Flammable services that may auto-refrigerate and lead to brittle fracture. Pressurized services that may rapidly vaporize during release, creating vapors that may collect and form an explosive mixture, such as C2, C3 and C4 streams, hydrogen sulfide, greater than 3% weight, in a gaseous stream. Anhydrous hydrogen chloride hydrofluoric acid in main and trace acid services per API RP 751. Piping over or adjacent to water and piping over public throughways. Class 2 Service not included in other classes or in Class 2. This classification includes the majority of unit process piping and selected off-site piping. Typical examples of these services include but are not necessarily limited to those containing the following. On-site hydrocarbons that will slowly vaporize during release such as those operating below the boiling point but above the flash point. On-site hydrogen, fuel gas, and natural gas. On-site strong acids and caustics. Class 3 services that are either flammable but do not significantly vaporize when they leak. Services that are potentially harmful to human tissue but are located in remote areas may be included in this class. Examples of Class 3 service include, but are not necessarily limited to, those containing the following. On-site hydrocarbons that will not significantly vaporize during release such as those operating below the flash point. Off-site distillate and product lines to and from storage and loading. Tank farm piping. Off-site acids and caustics. Off-site hydrogen, fuel gas and natural gas. Class 4 services that are essentially non-flammable and non-toxic are, as are most utility services. Inspection of Class 4 piping is optional and usually based on reliability needs and business impacts as opposed to safety or environmental impact. Examples of Class 4 service include, but are not necessarily limited to, those containing the following. 
steam and steam condensate, air and nitrogen, water, including boiler feed water or stripped sour water, lube oil, seal oil, ASMEB 31.3, Category D services, plumbing and sewers. Extent of visual external and CUI inspections. Extent of visual external and CUI inspections. The extent and type of the additional CUI inspection are listed in Table 2. Table 2 is recommended extent of CUI inspection following visual inspection for susceptible piping depending on the pipe class. At damaged insulation locations, you can determine the approximate amount of examination with NDE or insulation removal at areas with damaged insulation as per pipe class. At non-damaged locations, you can determine the approximate amount of CUI inspection with NDE or insulation removal at areas without damaged insulation as per pipe class. Piping systems that are known to have a remaining life of over 10 years or that are adequately protected against external corrosion need not be included for the NDE inspection recommended in Table 2. However, the condition of the insulating system or the outer jacketing, such as a cold box shell, should be observed periodically by operating or other personnel. If deterioration is noted, it should be reported to the inspector. It is recognized that several factors may affect the likelihood of CUI to include local climatic conditions, insulation design and maintenance, coating quality, service conditions. Extent of small bore, auxiliary piping, and threaded connections inspections. Small bore piping, SBP that is primary process piping should be inspected in accordance with all the requirements of API 570. SBP that is secondary process piping has different minimum requirements depending upon service classification. Class 1 and 2 secondary SBP shall be inspected to the same requirements as primary process piping. Inspection of Class 3 and Class 4 secondary SBP is optional. Threaded connections associated with machinery and subject to fatigue damage should be periodically assessed and considered for possible renewal with a thicker wall or upgrading to welded components. Inspection and maintenance of pressure relieving devices, PRDs. Quality assurance, QA, process. Pressure relieving devices should be inspected, tested, and maintained in accordance with API 576. Pressure relieving devices shall be tested and repaired by a repair organization qualified and experienced in relief valve maintenance. Each repair organization shall have a fully documented QA process that is good quality system and procedure, a fully documented training program that shall ensure that repair personnel are qualified within the scope of the repairs. The inspection interval for all pressure relieving devices is determined by either the inspector, engineer, or other qualified individual per the owner user's QA system. Testing and inspection intervals Pressure relieving devices shall be tested and inspected at intervals that are frequent enough to verify that the devices perform reliably in the particular service conditions. Unless documented experience and or RBI assessment indicates that a longer interval is acceptable, Test and inspection intervals for pressure relieving devices in typical process services should not exceed 5 years for typical process services and 10 years for clean, non-fouling, and non-corrosive services. When a pressure relieving device is found to be heavily fouled or stuck shut or when a PRD fails and is received POP test, 
the inspection and testing interval shall be reduced unless a review shows that the device will perform reliably at the current interval. Review questions. Question number one. In assigning a classification to a piping system, the decision should be based primarily on the answer as C. Question number two. Which process service description would fall under the requirements of a class 3 piping system? Answer is C. Question number 3. An insulated class 1 austenitic stainless steel pipe is inspected for CUI. The piping system operates at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. What percentage of follow-up examination is recommended at areas with damaged insulation? Answer is D. Question number 4. Insulated piping systems that are susceptible to CUI and known to have a remaining life of more than 10 years are that are protected against external corrosion. Answer is D. Question number 5. Small bore piping, SBP, that is class 1 shall be inspected. Answer is C. Question number 6. Threaded connections associated with machinery and subject to fatigue damage should be inspected. Answer is C. Question number 7. Pressure relieving devices on piping systems should be inspected, tested, and maintained in accordance with which of the following? Answer is C. Question number 8. Pressure relief valves shall be tested and repaired by a. An. Answer is C. Question number 9. The frequency of inspection of pressure relieving devices is normally. Answer is C. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.